Hello and welcome to the demo session Quick Size Changeover with Predictive Maintenance. My name is Stefan Breck. I'm the General Sales Manager with Seco. Probably most of you knew Seco already for decades. For all the others, I would like to give a short introduction. Seco is family owned and was founded in 1963 in Germany. We are a manufacturer of measuring systems with almost 60 years of experience in the industry. Jürgen, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Hello, my name is Jürgen Schuh. I'm managing the business unit Changeover Solutions at Seco headquarters here in Germany. And uh, before we start with the product presentations, uh, I would like to give you a small impression with a video. Jürgen, quick size changeover with predictive maintenance. What do we have to expect from this presentation? Well, changeover uh, of the equipment becomes more and more important because your equipment needs to be more flexible because products are changing and you cannot develop or produce one machine for one product. So you need to have a certain flexibility in your machine. And today we are showing you our solutions regarding format changeover for your equipment. Thank you. Okay, here we are with a presentation, quick size changeover with predictive maintenance. Let me start with some basics before we step into the more advanced solutions. The most common and easiest way for machine setup is the manual adjustment. The manual adjustment can be done with mechanical, indicators or electronic indicators, which you might have already seen in different applications, for example, in packaging machines. The benefit of a manual format changeover with mechanical indicator is uh, the easy installation because each indicator has an integrated hollow shaft. It provides a clear display of the position value and we offer a big choice of different ratios and display values depending on your mechanical system. At least it's an inexpensive measuring system for your application. As a next step, we do also offer a possibility for a so-called supervised manual changeover. These are electronic indicators for rotary or linear movements, which are connected to a PLC. So the PLC sends a target value to each indicator connected. And uh, you still have to do a manual adjustment to the required target position, which is shown on the display as well. You get a feedback of the position value by these indicators to the PLC. So with this solution, a manual setup is not only faster, it's more safe because the adjustment is monitored by the PLC. A more advanced solution is the automated changeover with our positioning drives. These positioning drives allow an easy mounting with the integrated hollow shaft. We have various power classes depending on the required torque or speed. The compact design contains the gear set, the motor, the electronic, the communication port and the sensor for a closed loop system. And we offer various communication interfaces depending on the standard which is in your application. So Jürgen, thank you for the interesting presentation and I see you brought some samples. Can you tell us more about those? 
Yeah, before we go further to look into the details, I just want to show you the different comp uh, components which you have seen from the previous presentation. So first, this is the digital mechanical indicator, we call it DA. And uh, this is the most common one, which you already know, probably from different other applications. Yeah. The next step would be the electronic indicator, yeah, which is connected to the PLC. You still have to do a manual adjustment, but this indicator communicates with the PLC. You, so you get the target value on the display and you get a feedback of the position value back to the PLC. And last but not least, here you see the actuator for the full automatic adjustment. That means um, if you um, do not want to use the manual adjustment, you take these actuator where everything is integrated in this kind of compact design. So as a next step, before we look into the technical details, I show you uh, the presentation starting with an application and then we will have a look at the functionality of this unit. Sounds interesting. It is. In the following movie, you see a typical application of quick size changeover. This application example shows the changeover of a typical case erector, which is available from different machine builders. Now, the size adjustment to the smaller box is done automatically with our positioning drives. The center of the material stack is adjusted by the supervised manual changeover. Once the adjustment is completed, you can continue the production with a new box size. Another part of this presentation is predictive maintenance. So the question is how to predict maintenance with our solutions. At least you need to use smart devices to get more information out of the field or out of your application. Looking at the supervised changeover, you have access to diagnostic information like the capacity of the internal battery to back up the sensor during power off or you get a feedback of the speed of your movement, or you can even check the alignment of the sensor when you're using the linear version of this technology. Looking at our positioning drives, you have access to the internal temperature. You can check the voltage level just to make sure that you do not have a voltage loss on the cable, or you can check the current, which gives you a direct indication of the required torque at the shaft. You even have access to an error memory space where you can check the error messages which might come up during the use of the product. Just a quick example in an application with our positioning drive. The current consumption gives a direct feedback of the required torque. A new or well-maintained machine will require a normal power consumption. An older or not well-maintained machine will require a higher torque and current to run the changeover. In the same situation, when you monitor the internal temperature, exceeding the limit will generate an error and switch off the device to prevent any further damages. All this information is available through the communication interface. So smart devices are only a benefit when you can share diagnostic data to any kind of IT platform. So how to transfer smart data to a suitable IT platform? There are different interfaces to transfer the information to the control unit and an upper-level IT system. 
for this additional communication to a cloud or IT system, the diagnostic information needs to be separated by a Y junction. In this case, the process data is exchanged with the PLC. You need to have a separate communication to your external IT. And network management is required to separate the diagnostic information from the process data. How to create a connection to IoT with the Y junction of the previous slide? We use the communication standard IO-Link. All IO-Link devices are connected to an IO-Link master, which transfers all the information to the PLC. In this example, the connection is going to be done with Ethernet IP, Profinet, Modbus, but it could be to any other kind of interface. Some of the IO-Link masters provide an additional port with OPCUA or MQTT interface to communicate to a cloud or an upper level IT technology. No additional gateway for the communication to the external IT is necessary and the network management is already integrated. And this for almost every kind of sensor and or actuator with I.O. Link. I.O. Link is surely an easy to handle solution to connect your format changeover to IoT as a smart solution for the future. Jürgen, thank you again for the nice presentation. And um, we want to discuss with you some common questions we hear. Um, the first one is, what are other typical applications for those actuators? Well, uh, there are various different applications um, which we do in different kind of industries. If you look at the packaging industry, of course, these actuators can be used for labeling machines, for folder glues, for t transport equipment. So everywhere where you need to turn a shaft okay. is a potential application for these kind of actuator. Okay. Another question is, how can I evaluate the feasibility of automated changeovers? This is a good and important question because as you can imagine the price for a mechanical indicator is much more lower than the price for an actuator. So at least you need to evaluate the downtime of the machine, which is required when you need to make the changeover. And then additionally to this, you need to evaluate the possible human error by wrong adjustment and maybe some damages in the production. And counting this together, you get an idea whether this solution is feasible or not. I have one more question. Yeah. Um, does every type of actuator uh, offer those <coughs> smart functionality? Well, every type of SECO actuator does offer this, this smart functionality. Um, it depends. I mean, we have different kind of actuators, but mainly the actuators with the integrated electronic where the bus interface is already inside the device. So there you find these functionalities. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and also thank you for watching this video. Um, we are happy to help you. If you have any questions, please ask us, ask our experts. We are here to help and make your changeover more efficient. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you.